We discussed control room regulations, and now we're going to move on to the control room processes. These are the basically workflows that people use whenever they're uh, working in the control room. So, uh, simplistically, we have receipts, we have deliveries, we have storage, we have the pipeline, and it flows along. So, what we're trying to do is really pretty straightforward whenever you think about it, but when we're talking about the amount of involvement with the uh, lands we go over, the number of pump stations, the number of valves, it starts to get relatively complex. If we look at the functions that are performed in the control room, starting on the left, we have nominations, so the shippers tell us what they want to move. Scheduling, how is it that we're going to line these batches up and what are we going to take in where, what uh, types of deliveries are we going to make. Scheduling, sort of the details of how we're going to make it happen controlling, making it happening, and then finally reporting. So we are reporting what is going on and keeping track. So we have control room operations. If you overlay those with accounting, commercial, regulatory, maintenance, management slash internal and external, all of these things are demanding attention from the control room operator. So I usually think of control room operators jobs much like the air traffic controller job. 